The White House is where the President of the United States lives with his family. It is one of the most secure facilities in the world and has all the latest security features installed to ensure the first family is safe. Join me for today's video as we take a look through 15 amazing White House security features that you didn't know about. Let's begin. Number 15, the Missile Defense System. As you can probably imagine, Washington, D.C. is a big-time no-fly zone. If too many planes are flying over the White House, then it's way too easy for a bad apple to fall through the cracks, so it's best to keep those skies clear. The closest major airport is the Ronald Reagan National Airport in Virginia, and any plane not scheduled to land there or that's following a very strict trajectory is given a pretty nasty warning. But this isn't baseball, meaning there are no three strikes and you're out rule. It's just one warning. Anyone who doesn't show immediate compliance is a goner, courtesy of the White House's surface-to-air missile system. And it's not just one lone defense system either, it's a whole slew of them placed all around the compound. It doesn't matter what angle the plane is coming from because there's a fresh missile with its name on it at every turn. Obviously, the general public isn't privy to the exact locations, but rumors have been circulating for years about the high-tech Avenger missile to system on the roof of the White House itself. And while we can never know if that's true, one thing we do know for sure is that there are plenty of laser systems that detect any possible airborne threats up to a mile out that alert the necessary air defense systems. Number 14. It can withstand a nuclear bomb. Hopefully, it never comes to this, but the threat of a nuclear war is a very real one. Many, if not all, of the world's superpowers have access to these weapons of mass destruction. And while the president's day job may involve running the country, their biggest job is to survive. So what happens in the event of a nuclear attack on the United States? Well, the White House itself isn't quite nuke-proof, but there's an underground bunker that is. Think of it as a fail-safe for when things go south. We don't know everything about it, but we do know that an underground tunnel was built in 1987 during the Reagan administration that would lead him to a subterranean elevator. But even the likes of FDR had an underground tunnel built that would take him from the White House to the Treasury, and even President George W. Bush was photographed in the emergency space after the September 11th attacks, confirming the truth of its existence. But in 2010, much of the White House lawn was excavated for two years, with many people speculating that a new high-tech bunker was being built. The entire project took two years, and since that time, the White House has yet to release what exactly was put down there. Number 13, Ballistic Windows. When you look at the White House head-on, it's not hard to notice all of the windows. There are about 72 from that view alone, but the illustrious home of the POTUS actually has 147 windows in total. Even the president put their back to a window in the Oval Office. Now, if you have a criminal mind, that seems like 147 different opportunities. Luckily, though, you'd be wrong, because each and every White House window is made of extra-thick, bulletproof glass. The odds of someone getting close enough to the White House with a firearm are pretty slim, but as recently as 2012, someone managed to slip through the cracks and attempt to shoot through the windows with a high-powered rifle from over 2,000 feet away. But their efforts were futile because of the reinforced ballistic glass, which essentially caught the bullet without any issues. But believe it or not, this type of technology is relatively new to the White House and was only installed within the last few decades, after a terrorist incident in Oklahoma City. But what's even more interesting is that the president isn't even allowed to open the windows on a beautiful day. Because what good is a bulletproof window if it's open? Number 12. The Secret Service You can't have a list of White House security features without talking about the men and women of the Secret Service. The Secret Service is the first and last line of defense for the President of the United States, and they will literally lay down their lives without a second thought. Founded back in 1865, the Secret Service is specially trained to protect residents and their families from the moment they move into the office and for the next 10 years after their term ends. It is some of the best protection you'll ever find, because they're constantly undergoing training that simulates something as simple as a runner on the White House lawn to a nuclear attack. They are literally ready for anything, and can often be seen patrolling the White House lawn armed with pistols, shotguns, and assault rifles. And for every Secret Service member you can see out there, there are two more that you can't see, because they're often hiding out and waiting to burst out onto the scene. On average, the Secret Service employs 3,200 agents, with 1,300 making the uniform division, and the rest serving as professional, technical, and administrative support. 
When it comes to the life of the U.S. president, the Secret Service is at every turn, watching their meals be prepared, at the doctor's office, and even in the bathroom. And when they're out and about, the Secret Service makes sure that the president is never more than 10 minutes away from a trauma center, and they'll even carry bags of the president's blood should an emergency blood transfusion be necessary. They're the president's best friends and the bad guy's worst enemy. And if you ever see their heavily armed counter-assault team suddenly jump out of a black van, then hit the deck because the bullets are about to fly. Number 11. Cybersecurity Now that so many of us have been born and raised in the age of computers, hackers, and malware, bad actors have been on the rise, and 2020 saw some of the worst data breaches ever. So imagine if those hackers found their way into the White House computer database and held national secrets for ransom for millions or even billions of dollars worth of crypto. That wouldn't be very good, would it? Well, luckily, some of the more recent American presidents have noted the need for cybersecurity and have prioritized the strengthening of these cyber defenses. And so the federal government, White House agencies included, are all quickly improving the security of some of their most widely used technology. The White House has recently launched a public-private action plan to shore up cybersecurity and network defense measures to not only keep safe but also hold ransomware criminals accountable to the fullest extent of the law. This is one White House security measure that you cannot see. Number 10. The Iron Fence of Doom with things like secret underground bunkers, guard dogs, and anti-aircraft missiles, you'd think that the White House has everything just about covered. But you'd be wrong, because while it may not be as glamorous as those aforementioned countermeasures, sometimes simplicity is the most effective tool. Case in point with the White House fence. And to think that this security feature has been staring you right in the face this whole time. And believe it or not, but the fence wasn't always surrounding the White House. There was a brief point in time when the White House grounds were open to all. It was a much different time then, but in 1801, President Thomas Jefferson put up the first fence, which was quite low and seemed to be more for decoration and ceremony than a functional barrier. The fence underwent plenty of changes over the years, with one of the more exciting times being the Taft presidency, when he allowed his livestock to roam the front lawn. But what was once a simple barrier is now an 11-foot-tall rebar steel fence, complete with sharp pointed ends to keep climbers off. But the coolest feature of this fence is the hidden pressure-sensing technology, which alerts the security teams the moment somebody touches it. The fence gives an all-new meaning to, you can look, but you can't touch. Number 9. Anti-Drone Zone while the airspace over the White House has been a strict no-fly zone for some time now, they were quite unprepared for the onset and accessibility of drone technology. But the White House learned the hard way at the beginning of 2015, when a drone was found on the White House lawn. Surprisingly, the drone avoided detection while in the air due to a lack of a heat signature, but as soon as it hit the ground, all of the proper alarms went off. Every agent on the premises went into fight mode. Security teams quickly scrambled, and they were on the scene in moments looking for the operator. Luckily, though, it wasn't some nefarious force, but rather a White House employee just having some fun at the end of their shift. But despite the big no-no committed by the employee, they were off the hook, because at the end of the day, they exposed a pretty big gap in White House security, proving that sometimes you have to learn the hard way. So since then, the White House has drones of its own, all of which are fitted with security cameras to give the teams a bird's eye view of the compound, and they can even be used to take down other drones. Number 8. Concrete Barriers They may not be as exciting as drones, missiles, or invisible lasers, but the White House is surrounded by plenty of concrete and steel barriers to prevent any unwanted vehicles from making their way in. We may not think about it often, but vehicles can be used as an incredibly deadly battering ram made of twisted metal traveling up to 100 miles an hour, and that's not the kind of thing the President nor the White House security detail want bursting through their door. The compound has to be protected from even the most basic of threats, hence the need for the barriers. Vehicle checkpoints are everywhere, with many of them specially designed and strong enough to stop a speeding car dead in its tracks. Think of these barriers as modern-day moats surrounding a heavily fortified castle. And as of 2017, the sidewalks around the White House were permanently closed, with barriers being used to keep even pedestrians away by about 25 yards. Number 7. Poison Testers 
Believe it or not, but assassination attempts by poisoning are still a thing. And while this form of murder may come off as rudimentary, the countermeasure against it is just as medieval. The president has a number of food tasters and tasters whose sole job it is to make sure that nothing nefarious was slipped into their meals during preparation. It sounds crazy, but with the amount of food entering the White House each and every day, you just can't be too careful. And not only are these staff members testing for poison, but if for some reason they receive a bad batch of groceries, they'll be the first to know, allowing the president to stave off any foodborne illnesses that will keep them out of the bathroom and in the Oval Office. And if you don't believe me, just check out the report from 2013 that stated Barack Obama refused to eat dinner at a White House event because his food tester wasn't there. But even before the ingredients make it into the pan, the Secret Service is making sure that no one is tampering with the food and, of course, every single White House chef is heavily vetted before they get the job. And so, if anything nefarious does make it into the president's meal, the taste tester will be the first to know, and White House medical staff will probably be the second. Number 6. The Visitor Screening Process If you think you could just waltz right into the White House all willy-nilly, then think again. While the White House compound sees roughly 30,000 visitors a day, only a select few are allowed inside. There are plenty of tours to enjoy every day, all of which are offered in 11 different languages. But getting into one of these groups is no easy feat, because they can't just let anybody in here. If you want to take a tour of the illustrious White House, it doesn't matter who you are. Get ready to submit your application at least 21 days in advance. Not only does this give security an accurate headcount for the day, but also allows them to go through some extensive background checks for every potential visitor, whether they show up that day or not. It kind of sounds like one big bureaucratic nightmare, but it has to be done. We're talking about places of employment, previous addresses, criminal records, and group affiliations, and the list can probably go on for hours on what they check. And it should also come as no surprise that much of the White House is off-limits, even during a guided tour accompanied by high-level security guards. Some rooms of the White House will just have to remain a secret from the regular folk forever. And while carrying a firearm may be legal in the United States, it's best to leave those locked up at home before you go to the White House. Number 5. Air Filtration System Having a poison tester isn't the only way an American president can stave off intense illness or even death. Air circulation is important, but seeing as how opening up the windows defeats the purpose of bulletproof glass, the White House needs a good air filtration system. It may sound kind of silly, but the necessity for fresh, clean air is all too important. Think of how many people live and work in the White House. Now add that to all the visitors who come through the doors each day. Now just imagine if one of them were sick with the flu or something even worse. It's all too easy for sickness and disease to spread in a dense environment and eventually find their way to the person at the top. And once that happens, it's all over. That's why the White House state-of-the-art air filtration system is so important, because not all threats are going to be seen. Hmm. All right. Now that we've gotten the more specialized stuff out of the way, we can tackle more pragmatic security measures. While we know the White House security has multiple eyes in the sky with their drones, you can't forget about the fellows on the roof. The White House roof is dotted with sharpshooters armed with high-powered sniper rifles who survey the scene day in and day out, always on alert. Dressed in all black and working in pairs, these rooftop snipers are incredibly intimidating, and to make things even more serious, they are quite literally some of the best in the world. Mostly former soldiers, these White House snipers must prove their worth every month in an exercise where they must perfectly hit their targets from 1,000 yards away. And if you miss, you're out of there. Come back next month, because the president can't afford to have anything but the best when it comes to their safety. And just to show off how good they are, these snipers can sometimes be seen plain as day when the sun is out and the sky is clear, letting you know that they're always watching. Number 3. Infrared Sensors Just because you can't see something doesn't mean you can't see it. While an assailant may think the best time to make a break for the White House is during the cover of night, they'd be dead wrong. The entire White House compound is outfitted with infrared sensors that can pick up even the faintest of heat signatures. Birds flying and squirrels scurrying about are all accounted for, and anyone hiding in those well-maintained bushes is gonna be found so fast it'll make their head spin. 
These infrared sensors aren't specific to the lawn either, as their lasers cover the sky and even go underground. Truly, no one and nothing is safe from them, and the best part is these infrared sensing lasers are completely invisible to the naked eye. So if you think you can outsmart them with some Hollywood-type theatrics, think again. But interestingly enough, the sensors can work a little too well sometimes. While they've certainly picked up on some would-be intruders, there have been occasions where security descends on an unknown threat only to be greeted by a wayward squirrel or a mouse. As long as that mouse isn't a spy for a foreign government, then they've got nothing to worry about. But these lasers definitely let the security teams get a good sense of things. Number 2. The Belgian Malinois Dogs aren't just man's best friend, they're also the president's too. It's pretty typical for the president's pets to roam the White House grounds, but don't be surprised to see some loyal guard dogs as well. Humans can only move so quickly on two legs, so it's important that some four-legged friends can make it to the scene in a flash. And while it may sound a little silly for the White House to have something so simple as guard dogs, they've proven their worth year after year. The dogs, specifically Belgian Shepherds, have been used by the Secret Service since 1975, and while they may be highly trained professionals ready to chase, bite, and tear up an assailant, they're still safe enough to be around children. To be a Secret Service dog, they need to complete a 20-week training course with their handlers before starting the job, and they can work all the way to 10 years old. In more recent years, the dogs Hurricane and Jordan came to the rescue of President Obama when someone managed to jump the White House fence. The dogs were deployed at the drop of a hat and ran at the assailant at 30 miles an hour. Sure, they may have taken a few licks during the tussle, but they brought him down and kept them there until their handlers could arrive on the scene. And not only was the jumper charged with trespassing, but hitting these White House guard dogs constitutes assaulting an officer. As it should. Number 1. Under the Floor Pressure Pads Somehow, round-the-clock security cameras and infrared sensors just aren't enough, and so the White House is full of carefully placed and very well-hidden pressure pads. Yeah, there are sensors under the grass on the lawn to alert security of any unwanted visitors, but more importantly, they're placed all throughout the floors of the building itself. But is this so they can quickly detect burglars? Well, no, not so much. The floor sensors let security know where the president is at all times. If they were in the Oval Office, all they need to do is track those footsteps to see where he's going next. Think of it as the Marauder's map running for 24 hours a day. And if something does go wrong, chances are the folks in the security room are gonna know about it a split second before even the president. But employing and monitoring these pressure pads is no easy task, because the White House is six stories tall and 55,000 square feet, and houses hundreds of staff members. That is a lot of foot traffic every day, but seeing as how the president keeps to a strict schedule full of meetings, self-care, and the occasional hobby time, chances are the monitors are able to keep a keen, highly trained eye on him at any given moment. Looks like the pressure's on for those guys. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.